Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to review the group 1 performance of the Miss World 2019 Head to Head Challenge and of course, man as you know, this is one of my favorite parts of the competition because this is the part where we get to know and hear more about the ladies so for the group 1 we have Albania, Peru, England, Korea, Guyana, and Honduras so I'll be giving my commentaries to each and every candidate and at the end of the video I will be ranking them based on my own preference and whom I think do I want to win although the result will be based on voting I will still give it based on my own personal opinion so of course there's a possibility that the voting might not go as I wanted it to be but well I think and I'm hoping that the most deserving candidate makes it through Albania. Albania is actually a very well-spoken and very art articulate, plus she speaks four languages. Honestly, I think Albania have got a lot to say, and she can speak for a long time about her causes, and I truly agree with Vanessa when she said that Albania sounded very passionate about her work, which is very obvious. No time limit was mentioned, so I don't blame her for speaking a lot and for speaking for a long time. So good job to Albania, she exceeded my expectations. Now, Peru. Peru looked beautiful and very, very sweet looking. Unfortunately, we did not understand. I didn't understand much of what she said because even if Vanessa mentioned that what she said will be translated, unfortunately, it wasn't. So I'll just base it on her own delivery. I think compared to other contenders, she sounded very sweet, but at the same time, she's also bordering a timid personality to me. So I wish she gave it more personality and a bit more confidence next time. England. I truly enjoyed listening and watching Miss England's interview. I really love her personality and I love her story about what happened after the coronation where she went directly to work in a hospital. And I love that she talked about the importance of making a good impression. Aside from that, she is stating so many facts when she talked about her Beauty with a Purpose entry, which is the awareness, raising awareness about diabetes. And because of what she mentioned, it truly shows that she knows a lot about her project. And one thing, I would love to see her smile every now and then because sometimes based on that performance she seems a bit serious looking most of the time so I wanted to see some more smile from England. Korea. I am loving Korea very much. She is very very sweet, very articulate and well spoken too. I can still feel that there's a part of her that is holding back a little but when she becomes comfortable she's she became unstoppable she keeps on talking a lot and I love what she's talking about it makes me smile watching her because she maintains that adorable and charming aura Guyana Guyana impressed me a lot she's got a strong and impressive impressive profile as a woman working in the field of chemistry she's also well spoken and very very intelligent I think she's also one of the best in this group because I can feel the sincerity, the vulnerability, and at the same time, her personality just shines in that interview. And finally, Honduras. Honduras got a very beautiful face, but I am not a huge fan of the hairstyle. The bun looked great, but the one in the front doesn't work for me. Again, I am quite disappointed because there's no translation for the benefit of course for us non-spanish speakers but based on how she delivered her responses based on her tone and facial expression i am not feeling that much of it so for this round i will be giving my ranking based on my own preference based on how they look and based on everything that i sensed from that interview but before that let me just say that i wish they will bring back the random question aside from that speech about beauty with the purpose which is good but i wish they'll have a random question and where the ladies have not prepared for it because it is one way for us to determine who are really good at random speaking so that's just my suggestion but again for this round here is my ranking my number six is honduras my number five peru my number four korea my number three, Albania. 
my number two, Guyana. And my winner for this round is England. And as what I have said, I'm also very positive that she will win because I am expecting a full support from the Indian community being an Indian herself. So that's it. This is my review for the first group of the Head to Head Challenge for Miss World 2019. So what do you think? I am very excited to see the rest of the groups. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.